Welcome to I Saw This on the Internet, a show of talking about bizarre stories and topics with comedians and friends. I'm Kevin on stage. Today's episode features my good friend Patrick Cloud, my good friend to hear more, my good friend Lulu Gonzalez. Hello. You can submit stories to internet at kevonstage.com or pick your poisons. And you can listen here on YouTube, Facebook, maybe not Facebook, but YouTube for sure, and wherever podcasts are found. If you want to listen while you're at work and fake work. All right, today's topic. Maybe not Facebook. <laughs> Facebook, I don't be posting everything. All right. You should. They, right. they got money on Facebook. <sighs> Irish tight end Todd Furlong, he's a rugby player, Mm. is battling a potato addiction, <laughs> according to his <laughs> team nutritionist. They report that he eats 8 to 10 potatoes a day. The nutritionist says, hey, man, on game days you can eat that many potatoes, but on a regular day, <laughs> that's, that's too many potatoes. To Y'all know about the you... potato diet, though? Potato diet? That's a real thing where you only eat potatoes. And the, the One of the bouncers at the... The Lab Factory, he's also a comedian, uh, but he did that. He lost, like, maybe, like, 30 pounds in, like, four months. I thought potatoes made you gain weight. Okay, they can, right? If like, you work out, potatoes is great for you. It helps you Well, shred. he he does it in, in conjunction with also, like, intermittent fasting. But, now like, this a whole thing. Uh, Penn from Penn & Teller. He's, like, heavy into that. That's how he lost heavy all that weight. potatoes? Yeah, is I'm he the t- one that doesn't talk? Yeah. No, nah, he's the one that no. does talk. Eight yeah. To ten potatoes like an apple? Just like eating? No, he, I, <laughs> mash bake. I think he's uh, uh That's a lot of potatoes. It looks like he's he's eating them in different kind of ways. And it's because it's not like I really like these. It's like I'm addicted. <clears throat> he just be he be going ahead, he'd be knocking them back like Cheez Its. Okay, so here it is right here. The rules are simple in a potato diet. It's a short-term dietary plan where an individual has to eat only potatoes for three to five days, followed by a week or uh, or months, depending on the person's requirement. This extreme eating plan focuses on consuming nothing but cooked potatoes for rapid w- weight loss. Like it's so a just real thing. Boiled potatoes. Yes, Ooh. boiled or baked. Boiled people th- or baked. People think that you don't need carbs to lose weight. You actually do need carbs to lose weight. Cause, yeah, because they you create ha- energy and, you they ha- can, and they burn off the fat. Yeah, so you have to like you can't just like eat carbs and don't work out though. Like mm-hmm. I got, can. You do. I do. <laughs> All the time. And I love potatoes. That's why I picked this story. I was just like waffle fries, tater tots, <laughs> baked potatoes, loaded, mashed. So wait, <laughs> I'm confused. So Scallops. there's some there's some foods that if. We're told to just stay away from like carbs. Don't eat carbs if you mm-hmm. blah blah blah. But then those same foods, if you work out, will help you burn the fat. Like for instance, people think like white rice isn't good. Like yeah. you should, if you want to lose weight, don't eat white rice. Actually, white rice is really good for you. Like better than brown rice. See, really? all the white stuff is better than brown. See, that's that's the bad shit. People, that's how they get you, bro. Yeah. Wait, brown rice ain't as good. As, I thought I was not for work, brown when rice. you're working out. Like my my trainer, he was like, I don't want you eating brown rice at all. Eat the white rice. It's better for you. And literally, I have to eat rice. That's how I started losing weight. I was eating rice twice a day. Why? Why white rice? Why, why the why the whites instead of the browns? It's, it's rice supremacy. Rice supremacy. <laughs> rice supremacy. Why, <laughs> <laughs> what is y'all favorite type of rice? I'm fried. a fried. Fed of, fried. Oh, I meant like grain. Oh. Y'all was like, doesn't matter what kind. <laughs> Fry it. Uh, I like basmati. Or jasmine. Jasmine. I was about to say, I don't know a lot of the rice types. Yeah. I Long like grain. regular white rice. Long regular. grain fried rice. Long grain fried rice. You oh, had to throw fried in there, huh? Fried yeah. rice is top that. tier. Top tier. I wish y'all had it in St. Louis. I wish y'all had it so y'all could know. I had know. it. Okay. You okay. brought it to the mm-hmm. show. I was surprised by how good the fried rice in St. Louis was. Black yeah. folks be loving Chinese food. Yep. Yeah. Chinese food places be in the Because you know why? They, I, I heard this at like back in, I forgot what war. Korean War. There you go. They Korean, the, black the, people the, taught Korean people the how to fried Yeah, they taught them how to make fried chicken. So they was like, oh, we got to season all of this shit up. They, niggas they making stuff. That they show on Netflix, it. Niggas, they how niggas make yeah. food good. Mm-hmm. And now they're like, this is Chinese food. Nah, man. Was... Korean people be from, I remember. So good. It's a nigga but, noodles. <laughs> I'm sorry. Finding out that black people <laughs> taught them how to fry chicken made me feel so good. It makes yeah. sense. Because I felt bad being like, why is this why is this fried rice? I mean, fried chicken so good. Mm-hmm. And it tastes so close to black. It's, it's the crispiness so is really hard to match. Yeah. It's airy. Shit was slapping. 
Because so. like uh, KFC, the thing I hate about their chicken, oh, that skin, that. Oh, yeah. it feels like a warm paper towel. They, they got yeah. that, that I just lost weight skin. Yeah, I don't, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the chicken got stretch marks. <laughs> it don't match the breast. Like, no. And shit. I ain't never tasted 11 herbs and spices. <laughs> nope, I taste three. Max. You taste six? six? Maybe. Salt, Salt pepper. pepper. <laughs> Maybe that's some garlic powder. Yeah, you onion tasted powder. four. <laughs> they are 11. What are they? And uh, I don't want the secret. No. I'm curious. Did yeah. you, did you see 11. the KFC movie? No. With John Stamos? No, with, uh, with not John Stamos. I thought I heard about Slater. it. I did a whole thing on this. Slater. I did a yeah. whole rant on this. There's a movie called. Uh, it's called Recipe for Seduction. And Seduction. it's a young Colonel Sanders, but he look old as fuck. He got white hair. <laughs> oh, like, that's real? That's, that's a that, real. Lifetime, that's recent. Then, Lifetime made this movie with KFC. Ain't that Mario Lopez? Yes. That is Mario Lopez. That's A.C. Slater. I thought Bro. that was a joke when they made, no, like, Sexy Colonel. No, that's real. And he talks about how he found the 11 herbs and spices. <laughs> Hilarious. And loves. He didn't make that. He didn't get pop until he was like 50 or 60, I think. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That's but a good why story. did you put a young ass six pack motherfucker in the, a wig? Why did you just get an old man, an old Latin man? <laughs> I think they just say 11 herbs and spices because 11 has the perfect amount of syllables. Like saying three herbs, six herbs and spices five, don't make the six, seven herbs and spices would have hit too, though. Seven God, herbs. 11 yeah. is the perfect, boy, 11 herbs and spices? 11 herbs. What are they? Time. Then that original. make it sound like uh, like somebody colored like seasoned it. Because if it was three seasonings, you you'd be like, oh, <laughs> I was a white person. Salt, she pepper. Colored. She did say colored. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa, when we, we went, worked, worked, uh, lived in Washington, she worked at a bank, I believe in Puyallup, which is like kind of a suburb of Tacoma. Old black, old white lady came and saw her. And these people, live, she lived in a farm. Oh, I heard the story. Yeah, I don't know if I told Lou. Uh-uh. But she told her... Uh, she said, you are such a beautiful colored girl. And Melissa was like, thank you. Yep, when the age slip out that slight racism. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you, were, you were from Sometimes a different they time. Don't know. Yeah, my I, grandma is like that. Did she? <laughs> yeah. She, you'll be having like a regular conversation. Like, yeah, maybe. And then the Orientals out there, like, oh, so, hey, hey. <laughs> Let's bring it in. <laughs> I get it. it I get it. You're from a different time. <laughs> the Orientals. <laughs> Oriental used That'd to be, be the blue flavor of noodles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think they changed it though. They yeah. changed that flavor. Because they, they got woke. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's offensive to everybody but the rug. <laughs> they have ruined that word for me. What is the rug now? No, oriental I'm saying the, yeah. the rug industry doesn't have mine oriental. You can still have an oriental rug. Yeah. That's cold blooded though. Everywhere else. Yeah, they changed it to soy sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just typed it in. It's called soy sauce. Hey, you That's what soy oriental sauce. flavor was. You soy a, sauce. I, soy sauce. I don't, I don't think it was here. soy sauce. They just tasted. They that. just played the same. By the way, it didn't. I, we had ramen in Japan one time, and it did not dawn on me that what we were eating the packet we were eating a poor version of of that because the yeah. the real ramen is so much. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. It's a lot. Like the derivative of black folks, boy. It's a, we, it's a soup meal. Yeah. It's you a whole put an egg in there. You, egg, go, you didn't know that. Pork. Mm -hmm. I mean, was doing that. Egg. We was doing. I ain't never seen nobody put no egg in it. My daughter egg. does it. Yeah, egg. I ain't never but seen she's that. But she's, yeah, she, yeah, she's a K-pop kid. My daughter is big into Asian culture. Yeah, but nah. mainly Korean culture. Like she can, she can speak it, type it, text it. Korean? All of it. Yes, her text board is in it? all Korean. What? Did she take that, or she just picked up on her she own? She learned it from YouTube. She taught herself Korean from YouTube. That's she knows insane. the words to the song. They just, um, she just went to their uh, concert, BTS concert on Monday. Here? She, yeah. And she Crazy. was singing in Korean. Yeah. Really? That, that motherfucker know it all. Yeah, you wow. can't figure out how to take the trash out. But you learned one of the most difficult <laughs> languages in the world. Learned Korean but alone. I don't know what it meant. Take the motherfucking trash out. I need to. Uh... Here's something in English. <laughs> <laughs> and she hit me with Korean. Nah, motherfucker, you're not slick. Before we go out of, of, off the subject, I have a question for y'all. If your nutritionist said, hey, you're addicted to one food based on what you eat currently, what would they be Pizza. like? All right. Pizza and coochie. Coochie for show. Oh, Coochie for show, for show. They got to take my life or they take that for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll die. Uh, Ain't no rehab. I'll, I'll die eating it. Rehab yeah, is more man. coochie eating. Mm -hmm. uh, what do I eat a lot What's second of? place? <laughs> 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 no, not what you eat. Now, people eat your coochie. I'm talking about what you eat. <laughs> <laughs> people don't eat your coochie? <laughs> Cam got coochie. No, no, no. <laughs> no. You're trying to put it on here. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you already have a cushion. That was that slick. Hey, pull your underwear out. That's what Kev got the lube for. So that <laughs> you can Zip slide in easier. His fat lips. Hey, <laughs> his big old fat lips. <laughs> Hanging out them cloudy what, shorts. What would you be? Is it, what kind of his food? beef curtains? What kind of food you are you drinking? Cloudy shorts. He got, <laughs> he got his little beef curtains sticking out. <laughs> you have a roast beef sandwich under there? Uh, it's your coochie. <laughs> 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 you tried it. You, you oh, switched it so fast. It's your coochie. <laughs> <laughs> so like probably me, it'd probably be uh, Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get back to Chick-fil-A, it. Chick-fil-A. No, Might be Mexican food. Of Mexican food is amazing. We were talking about this yesterday. Burritos. Rome was saying, uh, outside, he was like, soul food is, is number five of his uh, favorite foods. Oh, it's low on the total ball. Huh? Yeah. Same. He, he was saying that. What's, what, what's higher than soul food? I think Mexican food is better. Um, is I, it better or do you enjoy it better? Um, I think Mexican has more uh, things that you could eat like on a day to day basis. Soul mm. food is like I like keeping soul food to holidays and and big events, but I can't be eating once a year. It's heavy. <laughs> it's <laughs> really heavy. So I think Italian, Mexican, Italian is heavy too, though. Yeah, Italian but heavy. I think I think you pasta. can. I I I I just prefer it to to soul food because okay. I think you can I think you can do more stuff with like with soul food. There's like two plates. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like there's two plates that you could fill up and 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 it's it's usually like a the same it's a seven repeat. things. Yeah. Just mm-hmm. how good can you do it? You know, mm-hmm. how good can you do fried chicken greens, <sighs> mac, and, mac and stuff yeah. like that. But how can I think we Italian flip these and yams? Mexican. That's mm. true. There's about I mean there's a lot more like Johnny Cakes and Brunswick stew, but it ain't stuff that most people make. Right. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Most people got the we losing mm-hmm. these recipes because all the grandmas dying, and these new bitches don't know how to cook. That's, I don't that's true. It, man, when the last when the last time you seen a young chick on Instagram post some smoked turkey legs and some beans? I follow some fine. Cooks. How old is? I really follow people that are my age, so, mm-hmm. and they be. I don't really follow younger women. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like to what they be I making, <laughs> and they don't be posting. They don't be. They don't know, how to, bro. They don't know how to like smother no pork chops for real. They ain't some using like. Some a lot of these women of got both. old souls. Some yeah, I think Tuscan. The ones in the south I'm not from, uh, from, uh, from a roux? You say what? I haven't seen some gravy made from a roux <laughs> after you, you know, fried pork chop or whatever. You make the gravy with it or the beef I, or whatever. I wouldn't worry about the, t- today's women because they still got the big mamas. It's like the the generation after that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's gonna oh, my daughter like, going to starve for sure. <laughs> so your she daughter going to be one of them ones. She's like, one of the ones for sure. She's going to be making ramen and then yeah. she's going to be like, nigga, I want... <laughs> I she don't green. even like soul food. She don't. She one of those people that like don't like when her meat touches the bone. So she don't like uh, chicken wings. She don't like ribs. I just she don't, don't like greens touching cornbread. That's where I draw the line. Soaking it, yeah. yeah. And nasty. greens juice be you. You swear you didn't get it's, no juice. It's seasoned good though. The yeah, juice. but I don't. I don't like wet cornbread. <sighs> I don't mind mac- macaroni and yams was made to touch. Yeah, that's Did peanut you see butter that and jelly. Pie? What? This, there was a sweet potato oh, yeah. pie that has the macaroni on top. Yeah. And they bake that's it. It's entirely too much. It looked kind of good. Though. I hate it. It looked kind of good. Mac and cheese is a solo artist. Man. There's so many chefs that, oh, the burgers that have mac and cheese on it that's blowing up right now. Like, I, I don't like mac. I feel like it should be mac and cheese. And the most you should do with it is like lobster mac or like adding one thing. I hate we, when they try to add it. There's a brisket mac and cheese. Oh, I'll do that. I'll do that. I know I'll you do that. that. We, um, That's a we feature, went to, though. We, we right, did. It's exactly. Drake and 21 album. One, right. of the, one of the spots we went to on, on the food show, this dude had baked, I mean, he had fried chicken, and when you take a bite, it had, one of them had macaroni oh, and cheese yeah. in it. The oh, I didn't like that. Greens. That looked nasty. The, that green, look... the macaroni and cheese inside of a wing? I didn't yes. like that. Inside of a wing? Yeah, inside of a I didn't wing. like that. Inside of a chicken, it was... It was a stuffed chicken wing. Well, now that's the, too the much. soul food pot pie that I've been seeing, that's the yeah. one thing I can mix. What's the soul food pot pie? It's like a, pot, a chicken pot pie, but like in it is like, it's made with cornbread on the outside, and there's like mac and cheese and turkey and, and, and stuff in it. Ooh, and that's mm-hmm. What about you to here? Where's soul food rank? Mm, maybe third. What's beating soul food? <sighs> what is it, top five? You know what's crazy? I really do be liking Mexican food. I didn't realize how much I did enjoy Mexican food. But did it you is. eat it before you moved to LA? Taco Bell. That's what 
we had. I don't need all that heavy breathing and shit. In the hood, we had Taco Bell. We had Chinese food. That ain't even food. Mexican food. Yo, there were four Mexicans all, in St. Louis. Hey, boom. <laughs> that, that part right there. You know what I'm saying? That Geographically, part right there. that makes sense, though. I would probably go. I would probably go Mexican, Chinese food, and then soul food. I like Chinese food. It's just too different restaurant to restaurant. It, it is. very much is. You know, well, I mean, everybody I, has I like their own a, variation. Yeah. Yeah, I right. like being a I, I like being a local as, as a regular places. So when I find a good place, I usually just hit that. Even up for the a sauces years. don't taste good. Like you can go one place, their duck sauce or soy sauce or whatever. Right. You mm. go somewhere else, like, this don't taste the same. I like, admittedly like uh, Americanized places the most because yeah. like when I found out that stuff like. The burrito or like orange chicken, like all this, this my favorite stuff at these like other cuisines. That's all American, like stuff that we. But you added. grew up eating American <laughs> cuisines, like we right? Did, but we but thought these it are was like American their real remixes. Stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we uh, thought General Sal's or orange chicken was. Yeah, well, we see, thought, I didn't really grow up China eating American that. food like. What'd you grow up eating? I, my parents are immigrants, well, Panamanian man. Panamanian food. So, uh, what is Panamanian food? Like rice and peas, <laughs> and <laughs> rice and gandules, plantains. What's gandules? It's type of bean. Okay. Yeah, that's so we do like rice and beans <laughs> and, <laughs> and oh, uh, goat meat, and some goat oxtail. Meat, oxtail. Goat meat? Yeah. Uh, goat meat is nice. You'd open up the freezer and see some goat? My mom, yeah. My mom would make, make fish like head goat. soup. Uh, <laughs> anything goat, goat on left side uh, of the Cow so foot chewy. soup. Uh, what kind of soup? Cow foot soup. Cow foot. It's like a beef soup. Cow fat? It? Cow foot. They cow call foot. it cow foot soup. Hell no. Nah. Cow, but it is cow foot? It has beef in it, like cow. That's like, when you make up like a, a new broth? name. Yeah. I don't and like the specific <laughs> names. Like, call it something Spanish. Somebody else said the cow foot. Yeah, cherry bones. <laughs> yeah, tea. cow foot soup is dumb. Y'all here eating cow foot. Uh, yeah, yeah so I, I wouldn't be surprised. For breakfast, I wasn't like, I would eat like, you know, my father would eat like rice with eggs and plantain or empanadas with some eggs mm, and that's sausages. Solid breakfast. Yeah. yeah you empanada know? is. Undefeated. Uh, mm-hmm. That's my favorite thing to make. That's why I want to make. A, I want to have a bakery where I can just make empanadas. Like Lulu's empanadas. Yep. So what? Lourdes. You, she got to go by Lourdes. Mm-hmm. Lourdes. She do. Lourdes. It will sell more empanadas. Lourdes. But it will be Lourdes. 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 Mm-hmm. Go by Lourdes. Lourdes. Soul food empanadas. <laughs> go by Lourdes. Mix your black in there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good world. That's Soul empanadas. Soul empanadas. Soul empanadas. 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 That will cross the LLC stage. Empanagas. You gotta be like, is that a G or D? Negra. You gotta Negra. take a dollar Impa sign Negra. and put Negra. it over the eye. <laughs> I will put, I said this uh, the other day too. Jamaican food yes. is top tier. Uh, it's my yeah. favorite right. Jamaican food. Jamaican yeah. food. But you know what? I would put soul food over it though. For Jamaican food, is is jerk chicken and it's oxtails. It's I don't bruh, really, I don't really I fuck to, with nothing else. Bro, okay, so I used to be like that too, uh-huh. right? But my, my Jamaican spot. I was one day that was out of oxtail, you know. Mm-hmm. Usually I'd be like, I'm out. Mm-hmm. You ain't got the oxtail. We know I've that. Yeah. Bruh, we know I've that. I got some brown stew chicken uh-huh. just to see. Uh-huh. Nigga. <laughs> Like they, that? Like, is that like a stewed chicken, like in Cuban food? Yeah, uh, kind of, kind of, kind of, sort of. Like that. chicken and onions. Yeah. Okay. And low key, Cuban food is amazing as well. Right. God damn, the Cuban amazing. sandwich but is you got all top the, all ten. Is Cuban sandwich Cuban, or did we do that? Because that no, sounds I think like Cuban sandwich is Cuban. Yeah. I think okay. I think it really. You gotta is. remember all those Caribbean cultures. Like we're the, all in the same same the pot. diaspora. Yeah, so we just take out the same shit. We just like that's what the high on the hot Korean Caribbean food over soul food. Actually, yeah, because but I even like, go, curry goat was really fire. Aki and saltfish. Ooh, yeah, that aki and saltfish was outstanding. Yeah. And Wait, the is it aki and saltfish or is it yeah. aki saltfish? Aki and saltfish. I think so. Two different things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think aki is like a fruit. And what's saltfish? I mean, uh, it's a type of fish. I mean, is it, is it a the white type of fish? fish? I thought it was how it was prepared. No? No, it's a white fish. It's, it's a white fish. fish. It's so good. Aki. What is Aki? Yes. It's like that yellow stuff, right? It's oh, it is so a fruit. Okay, good. it's a fruit. It's the natural oh, like, fruit of I, Jamaica. Like, we make mofongo. Mofongo is like... Yeah, I had that in Puerto Rico. Uh, what is that? Mofongo? mofongo. Yeah. So everybody calls it different. Some, uh, like, Panamanians call it mofongo. Uh, I think uh, Puerto Ricans call it... Uh, shit. Uh, they call it something else, but not mofongo. They call it... Uh, somebody in the chat. Somebody in the chat. No, I think it's called mofongo. But because I know there's another, there's another. Yeah, it's mofongo in Puerto Rico. They, they call it mofongo. Okay. Because I, I, I had, I went, we went to Puerto Rico a couple years ago. Salted cod, and I okay. ate it. Okay. Oh, okay. mofongo! Like my mother makes that for me, and like I know how to make it now. It's, yeah. it's so good. 
My sister in law is Puerto Rican and she makes her Spanish <sighs> rice, bro. It it is so good. We eat it with Thanksgiving and you like it don't go mm-hmm. like that rice don't go with Spanish rice. Yeah, yeah. So my Thanksgivings were always different. Gandules, like, it has yes, that. That's in what I'm there. saying. Gandules, we do gandules. rice and gandules. And in the bottom <sighs> is burned what's bagel. Got, what's, what's oh. gandules? What's gandules? It's like a, a bean. bean right? Yeah. Uh-huh. 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 We call when, we, when it's still stuck to the pot. What we call it? Concolon. Concolon. Yeah. Oh, Remember yeah. he was Glizzy's uncle. That means you burnt yeah. it. It's like a little, it stick to the pot a little bit. So it's, like, yeah. it's like it's like the burnt edges on like a brownie. Yeah. yeah. You, know, you get the heart. The you call it something different when you, yeah. when you burn the bottom. Just hear concolon. Up, man. Oh. <laughs> Hawaiian food is good. Somebody said that on Patreon. I like Hawaiian food too, but I don't it's know good. if I could eat it. But what, Not all the time. What's, what's Hawaiian, Hawaiian food? Like Kalua right? pork is really good. Spam. Short Chicken ribs. Katsu, spam. A, lot of spa, a lot of spam dishes. It's a lot of rice and like meat. Rice That's why a lot of times it's hard. I like spam. Yeah, spam musubi. What's it called? Chicken uh, katsu. A lot of potato salad too. Yep. Poi. They like they, that. They, they, their food always has like a sweeter taste Everything else. Huh? <laughs> I like soul food too, but to pass point out, I, 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 don't, I could go a month. Without it, uh, without eating a full soul food plate, yeah, that's, yeah. That's we, five we might food. have fried chicken, we might have macaroni. Might but if have you had to eat like, that for mm-hmm. breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day, uh, like I feel like there's ways to do that with Mexican. There's ways to do that yeah. with other because cuisines, I'm but leftovers from tough. Thanksgiving. You'd be like, oh, it's too late, Max, for me. You yeah. can do like yams and rice in the morning. It's Ain't nobody really eat no yams and rice, <laughs> yo. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> nobody like, want no greens for breakfast. Our beans and rice. Smother smother pork chops and greens for breakfast, bro. That's a weird meal, period, but breakfast? <laughs> Boy, I know you ain't eating yams and rice again. <laughs> See, I wouldn't do no turkey and eggs. It's uh, like this, you got I greens turkey, in your man. eggs? Greens and eggs? <laughs> he eating yams and rice again, mom. No. Uh-uh. <laughs> 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 yams and rice. <laughs> That's heavy, bro. That's oh. crazy. Dressing in milk. Just to take a nap, my nigga. We get that nap going. You sleep. You ain't got no microwave at elementary to warm that food up. Yeah. Like, you got to be cool with the teachers. <laughs> <laughs> the mature ass kids that be in the lounge. Hey, what's up, Susan? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Can I warm up my You got to warm up my, my ahi ahi. <laughs> All right, next topic. We got two that are both interesting. Neither is probably enough for a full segment, so we'll split them in half. Oh, wait, that was a good one, though. Would y'all, somebody said it's fish and grits breakfast? <laughs> Shrimp and grits? F- fish and grits. I wouldn't. I don't think I've ever had fish and grits. Uh, you never uh, had fish and grits? Mm mm. Like and I usually don't lunch. eat shrimp and grits for breakfast. I usually eat it for brunch. Brunch. I never uh, had shrimp for fish and grits. Catfish okay. and grits? Have you ever had fish Ooh, and spaghetti? Would, that would be good. I have, I have catfish. Catfish have fish and, and grits sound spaghetti. good. When I was in St. Louis, I mm-hmm. or the Midwest, I was like, this ain't a thing. But it Definitely is a thing. thing. It's a, it's fantastic too. I like spaghetti. That's I love Italian. spaghetti. Niggas eat more spaghetti than Italian people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like y'all don't know about spaghetti for real. I know y'all made it, but we perfected it. <laughs> <laughs> like, the pot of spaghetti is just like it sucked as a kid, but like as an adult. Oh yeah. That's I fire. remember. I remember when dudes be like, "Come over, I'ma cook for you." Oh, no and way. And I come over and it's spaghetti. I, <laughs> niggas be bold, bro. I would never. Like, what, you way, way, you what do you cook, or do you not cook for women? You don't respect him? You don't respect him? (laughs) What would be your go-to thing? He's like, like, Postmates. (laughs) What shows your skills off? Oh. I've made made the classic nigga stuff for for, (laughs) for girls. Tacos. Tacos, salmon. I think the craziest (laughs) thing was like crab salad or something. You made a crab salad? So she told somebody about that. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. If you While you was making it, bitch, you making me a crab salad. <laughs> whoever <laughs> got crab salad absolutely yeah. told no, me. I this nigga inherited is that uh, <laughs> recipe from my auntie. Oh, you, it's homemade crab salad? Yeah, yeah, it's like auntie recipe too. It's fire. Nigga, it's not when as good I as first her. was with Melissa, this is so stupid. I caught myself making breakfast. You caught yourself? Her. Called myself. Oh. I made her waffles, pancakes, what? toast. Why you make all these bread? Bacon and, <laughs> and uh, bacon and eggs. And she got to the table. She was like, "Man, that's, that's a lot of bread." <laughs> yeah. Did you say waffles, pancakes, and, and toast? toast? And but did you not know what she would want? Or you two just... bread items and bread. <laughs> that's your side. A bread. Here's bread with a side of bread <laughs> and a dessert sweet bread. bread. A sweet bread. Yeah. Dessert, and then beer to dr- wash it down. <laughs> you so came up with the 
worst bread eating and infection and start, ever. Bacon and eggs and three bread. And she literally was like, man, I probably, you could just probably did one of these. <laughs> <laughs> she, she was, the most confusing thing is she said, why would you make waffles and pancakes? Right. right. That was what I and they started. Were, and they Wait, so you went in a waffle maker? No, no, egg waffle. Oh, is that how your <laughs> breakfast when you were alone goes? <laughs> He's like, he egg ate waffles. it out of a trough. He put it all together. <laughs> <laughs> you play <I>, red bingo. <laughs> it's like I never notice a difference. <laughs> just throw it all in there. You're <laughs> <laughs> just cutting up all those bread. <laughs> Eat it with no fork. <laughs> That's a trough. That's where the pigs eat. I know what a trough <laughs> is. <laughs> they don't eat first. I, I would have a. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you invited, Melissa. Just, just no. Just throw your head in. Here. <laughs> you can just <laughs> graze how much you want. Listen, <laughs> you came up like you're not, you're not gonna eat that. He is a Melissa's. Kev, you're <laughs> over there. <laughs> Kev, your farmer's calling you. <laughs> you're supposed to go wee 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 all the way home. Oh your farmer said you should have uh, let people know you were having company. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him after troughing. Yeah, here. I thought you was going to. The... So... <laughs> that visual is so. <laughs> you just brought everything the... out on planes and was like, yeah. <laughs> just throw the plane in there too. His <laughs> ears <laughs> 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 going. <laughs> this nigga said you put it on planes just to dump it. <laughs> Why did you just do that? Did you just <laughs> he had like <laughs> parsley and stuff on it, designs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no. come, up only, Kev, come up only to take a shot of syrup. He just drink. <laughs> <laughs> it's in a glass. <laughs> <laughs> he looks up, no. Melissa's gone. Oh, oh well. <laughs> 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 Where's this trough at? In the living room? Nah, it's it's <laughs> on the window seat. You have to stand up and eat. <laughs> that shit's out back. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Keep them coming, bartender. There's two candles about the trough. <laughs> <laughs> Your on. side's over there. <laughs> Mrs. Butterworth just chilled in the refrigerator. Takes it out like, oh, yeah. This is the 2021 Mrs. Butterworth. From <laughs> <laughs> Just in the trough. This is before it became this pills, is, Meryl. No, this is a vintage Aunt Jemima original <laughs> packaging before it just became whatever they Two wine glasses, <laughs> throw that in. You can pass that I ate the plate. <laughs> eat the plate, too. Porcelain is good That's for your bones. <laughs> Puts the napkin in. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> What am I doing? I like this. I'm not going to laugh anymore. My back of my head hurts. Waffles, pancakes, and bread. I didn't make her breakfast for like three years after that. I was so embarrassed. Because I wanted it to be good. I wanted her to be good. You wanted like buffet, right? Like pick whatever you choose. All of the breads? Went to town. <laughs> the, I, it didn't even cross my mind as weird until she brought it up. I was like, hmm. <laughs> you thought it was normal. But I was right? like, <laughs> like no, I tried to defend myself. I was like, first of all, it's not the same. <laughs> Jelly goes on the toast, so it ain't even like. <laughs> <laughs> the waffles sweet. and the pancakes, I'll give you yeah. that, but they got different texture. Yeah, I, think <laughs> I make really good pancakes. Up. You were this close to doing French toast. That's all three. Yeah. 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 French toast. All three of them. French toast is too hard to make. Bread bingo. <laughs> and, it's, <laughs> and it's mid. French toast. Is toast, mid. No way. French Clearly toast is one of those things that is done right. It is it's the a, best. Amazing. It is so often not done right. I make amazing French toast. I don't even order it because when it's a bad pancake, there's only so bad it can be. Nah. French toast can be I've really had some bad. bad pancakes. I've but had the some worst French pancakes. toast you have is way worse than the worst pancake you've ever waffle, had. Waffle, I feel like, is top tier. A good waffle is better than a good good French toast and a good pancake. A bad pancake, like the limp, wet ones, those are f- trash. But French toast is just, even when it's at its best, I don't agree. I, I, it's I got eggs in that. it. So? Well, if it's done right, a French toast is fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Especially on the right brand. Just real piece of bread. Uh, it's got eggs in it. It's off the breakfast. Brioche right French toast is the best. That yeah, is the best. Brioche well, French toast. There's a restaurant in, in uh, San Francisco called Mama's, I believe. Uh, and they make. Um, 
Nigga, it's a French toast sandwich. Monte Cristo. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought that was amazing. Ham. In the middle? French toast. And is it like jelly in there Cheese, or something? They put a jam on it, and a then jam. they, they yeah. sprinkled the white, uh, what's the powder? Powdered sugar on yep. it, too? I heard yep. that was real good. It's so good, but I've had so many bad French toasters. Mm -hmm. It's bad. Texas oh. toast be good, too. Brioche changed the bread game. Brioche is like top is this, tier. Is brioche potato bread? Is this a new bread that came out? Is brioche, brioche been out? It's like ten years in the game by now. It's like okay. Brussels sprouts. It can't. It's been around, but it's 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 been more popular Ooh. the last ten years. Mm -hmm. It got a brioche TikTok. it make regular sandwich stuff on brioche bread feel like the sandwich is better. Right. Mm. Or croissant. Croissant make a good sandwich too. Or uh, uh, King's Hawaiian rolls. Like a good, you know, like a good ham and turkey. I mean, yeah, like no sandwich. any yeah, croissant breakfast. sandwiches you should choose over whatever else. No, I'm, I'm not I having no uh, BLT on a croissant. What? I, love, I love it. I hate oh, so BLT. No. Any tuna you hate salad. Yeah. Wow. Chicken bacon salad. Bacon salad bacon on ain't a croissant. Bacon ain't a stand meat for sandwiches. You crazy. Bacon ain't a stand alone meat. You gotta get extra bacon, baby. What is bacon? Uh -huh. get extra bacon. I feel like it's too. T I don't like tomatoes either. Either, so bacon is not strong I, enough. I had a BLT recently. It was like a bacon sandwich. It yeah, was like, yeah. I feel that it should be like with a like bacon and a burger, or bacon and turkey, bacon and chicken. Y'all ain't doing it right. You gotta get that BLT <coughs> with a little mayo on it. Okay? I like mayo. It Put ain't the lettuce on there. The right? Hold on, hit me out. Put that bacon on there. Slice of cheese, thinly cut tomato, slice of cheese, more bacon. Mayo. How much Close bacon are you putting there. on? Don't worry about that. How much cheese did you put on? You just put on two slices. Huh? That was you just basically put on eating bacon with toast. <laughs> and cheese. Yo, there's cheese on your BLT? Yeah, put some cheese on that, man. That ain't BLCT. <laughs> hey, man. It, it, it's what you want it to be. BLT. If you pay, they're going to do whatever the fuck they ask, you ask them to do. My son loves BLTs. Melissa makes BLTs for Zay Zay all the time. I love it. I've never made one by myself, ever. Yeah, and that's good. You that's shouldn't have to. That's a, if I make bacon, I probably just eat it right after it comes out of the skin. All day bacon. All day bacon, man. <laughs> well, there's a restaurant in the South. I can't remember what it's called, but they have something called million, Millionaire Bacon or Million Dollar Bacon. <clears throat> and it's like bacon, thick, thick cut bacon, bacon. And they like cover it in pancake syrup. And then they bring it to you and it just be like, all pancake <laughs> syrup. It's just bacon with syrup oh, on it. They probably what, in the kitchen what, was what, like, do me. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like regular ass bacon. <laughs> Make me candy, millionaire bacon. <laughs> I wonder if you take bacon <laughs> and dip it into like, like the pot, like a uh, pancake mix, and mm -hmm. then fry it. And then you never had pancake bacon? I've never heard of this. I you thought I just it? made this yes. up. I thought I just made this up. I thought up. you no. did too. I, There's a song on Adventure Time making pancakes, bacon, bacon, pancakes, and they made it a thing. You basically. You cook the bacon first, yeah, and then you pour the the like the pancake sauce around it, and then you flip it, and it's basically like a, a strip. The of, batter? You talking about batter? That's or what I'm batter. saying. Like if you the take the bacon, you put the syrup on that. Yeah, and it's basically That's, like I a long I made pancake up, man. in a ba in bacon. Nothing new under the sun, Lou. Damn, I was gonna sell that. That's not something they sell at the Texas Fair. Mm. But like, there's also uh, pancakes and, and and waffles that they just put bacon in the mix, and they'll yeah. give you the whole thing with the bacon in it. Sweet and salty. Oh. You could ruin that though. I had one that just had one strip of bacon and the rest of the waffle was regular. So it just looked like a waffle that had like a bacon tips coming out of it. No, <laughs> so lazy. Like that. yeah. That's weird. So lazy. No, I want the bacon dipped in the. the I want the and infusion. Then we fry. Infusion is where it's at. Mm. All right. Pick your poison before we go. Pretend. Pretend you're a cat and give a stranger a tongue bath once a year. Or forget your significant other's birthday every year. This wizard's forget ridiculous. Year? S significant other is someone you love and spend a lot of time with. Forget, forget them. <laughs> forget, forget their them. birthday. Yeah. Can't even say the birthday. Forget them. But think about it. <laughs> That's not in the question. <laughs> I don't want to remember them. who you are. <laughs> After three years, they're gonna be like, "Oh, this is a thing." You know, you're probably just gonna have to rough it out a few years. You gotta lick a nigga down every year. Or nigress. Yeah, wait, who, what, what was I'm that a one? Cat, so. a stranger. It don't I'm, have to be a man. Oh no, when I said nigga for me is <laughs> oh it's everybody. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's interchangeable. You know, it's yeah, like yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, anyway, I mean, I'm not even trying. I don't want to lick nobody down, but I feel like forgetting somebody, you might get some shit. No, because you know why? That he like when it's when it's like he's gonna forget my birthday. I forget their birthday, right? You forget their birthday every year. So then fuck around, he gonna forget mine, and then I don't get shit. Like, mm -hmm. I don't like that. Well, I, I, you I mean, celebrate just remind me. them and they get the present. Here's the loophole. Be like, I'm a belated birthday type of person. <laughs> so you forget every year, but the next day you always have something fire planned. <laughs> 
and then you don't got to lick nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I accept this loophole. I like that. I'm going with that loophole. I though. would lick the stranger, though. I couldn't. You I, wouldn't? I would. Why? You don't you I, all you buy is lube. What strangers I, I, you lick it? You gotta right. you, you gotta know, clean where's their butt. Where's this adventurous camp coming from? Did it, did it say clean their all the way all their whole body? That means oh. armpits, butthole. People don't wash gooch. <sighs> gooch is belly tough. button. You Behind gotta get in the, the belly ear. button. But I but I got to go to Melissa every year and, and forgot her birthday. But the next day you could like live it up. But she gonna be mad. You'd rather go to her every year smelling like a, a another woman or man all in your face, Who's all in your mouth. Just right. the mouth. Well, Coughing I mean, I think it might balls. be all over you. Because yeah. what if they sweat on you? So mm. one night a year you turn into a cat, and then no, it says pretend you a cat. Pretend you. So you got you got to use. So your you tongue. just in there regular so outfit. So you in there with a regular ass outfit, like mm-hmm. meow. it's December third. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, I like. And then you and then you have to lick their body like a cat, mm-hmm. like a cat. And they were like whole body. And they're like start with the feet this year. Oh, like, hey man, get it out of the way. Fuck I'll it. be so thirsty. <laughs> That's what you were Go to that bowl. Go to that bowl. Yeah, you got a kitty bowl. You got a toilet. You got a toilet. trough. Yeah, that's a toilet. Okay, come on. But you also got to talk to him. So you like drink from the water and be like, all right, turn around. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry, Liz. I'm sorry. I'll just have to deal with your wrath. Your wrath going to last a week. The, the nightmares from the sponge bath is going to be It won't be even worth. last a week because if you pull off a great joint the next day, she going to forget about that you forgot yesterday. Yeah, you, nah, you gotta, would never forget. You just got to call in all the You know how black people's women be about their birthdays? But they they, were, like, they she, was in friendships over missing birthdays. Man, and nothing going to hit the same when you done forgot. It's all yeah. the worst gift is better on the day if you remember. It's the thought that counts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And you completely forget their birthday and you yeah. try to scramble. They dance you, out to you like, what's up? You know what today is? And like, what? Tuesday? <laughs> <laughs> a shit day for traffic. I tell you that. I was on the phone by for three hours. You have something planned yeah. every year on their birthday that's not, has yeah, nothing to do with That's what I'm them. saying. Because if you forget totally, uh, that means you, they know it's their birthday. Yeah. Uh-huh. You wake up, you're like, I'm going to the gym. Bye. And you're like, I'm working late. Yeah. <laughs> like, I got to shoot. She's going to be yeah. living. Now, wait, wait, wait. Here's the thing. Because here's the thing. It's really hard to forget somebody's day all day, especially your significant other. Is it that you forget it for the entire day or you forget it at the top of the day? All day. All day. You have to scramble. All day. All That's day. hilarious. They're like, it's my birthday. And they're like, hmm? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm trying to tell you. Can you do something for my birthday? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> you just keep forgetting. Oh, it's your birthday. That's happy birthday. Tomorrow's like right, right, happy 21. birthday. <laughs> it doesn't you. click. Belated. It never clicks. <laughs> That's even worse. <laughs> it, it don't click because until the last second. I was born on this day. Yeah, because even though the next day she gonna be like, man, you only doing this shit because you fucked up anyway. This ain't from the That's heart. That's what I'm right? saying. I'll be like, you right. That ain't from the you're heart. Right. That's what's gonna get you killed. Yeah. Is you forgot? It, it's not gonna. You could buy her a car, yeah. a Rolls Royce. Then uh, she gonna go on live and be like, look, y'all, he ain't shit. Right. He trying to make up for this. <laughs> So he bought me a Range Rover. I, I said that back too. G-Wagon, and don't, don't embarrass me. But y'all are comedians. You can make it seem like it was a prank the next day. But then like, you doing this no shit joke. every year. The joke don't Boat. hit to her. Boat. This is what I have learned in life. Boat. Comedian does not help in your relationship or therapy. I be bombing in therapy. Yeah, <laughs> trying to make but, the therapist laugh. Yeah, her jokes. Wait, hitting, but though. why you be trying to make the therapist laugh? I'm uncomfortable. That's the it's problem. A, it's a, it's a After every joke, it's just, she's just like, is this, is this you dealing with this? Nigga, that's the worst. You yeah. pop a joke off and she was like, what makes you think humor no. is appropriate here? Try to pop a joke. Yeah. Now she it's go not. like this. Hmm. All of that has happened. Mm. That is worse than bombing. Yeah, it's like. Because you got an audience of one and they're not liking the joke and then they're asking you why you told that joke. Right. Mm. Like, why would you choose this moment? Yeah. Hilarious. Interesting. What about your inner child <laughs> thought? <laughs> what trauma made you tell that joke? <laughs> Damn, I didn't know. <laughs> do you, do you hold an sure. invisible microphone, too? Like, no, I just be like, I'd mean, <laughs> <laughs> be like, I'd be like, and you know, my dad wasn't in my life. <laughs> That has brought up a lot of pain in your life. Uh-huh. Why would you choose laughter now? You're like, well, uh, no, no that's what I'm supposed to do. Just, you're supposed to laugh when you I You like, say is that. the lights on? Bruh. I always act like the Zoom got messed up when I bomb in therapy. Give it up for the ladies. Yeah. Yeah. Any single ladies? Sagittarius in the house, Sagittarius. Yeah, yeah. Is that really your sign? That's funny. Do y'all know anything past your, uh, your main sign? Nigga, yeah, I found out there was like three other signs. Yeah, there's yeah they trying to like, change my sign. I was like, what's your sign, Virgo? And they're like, what's your rising sign? What? Oh, yeah. What, what house is your yes, second moon, moon in? What, what? I don't know. I was like, you sound like a witch. <laughs> I didn't know <laughs> what that was. <laughs> I think was drunk because she don't remember the name of the hospital that she had me in. 
Is that what I was saying? It was Pet Smart Memorial, wasn't it? Memorial. Memorial. That's where they. I thought they told you. Pet Smart Memorial. Wasn't that? Because remember that the you had came in that Cedar Chip Sinai. Buckdale Hospital. <laughs> the hospital beds are just cedar chips. <laughs> Welcome to Cedar Chip Sinai. Here's your uh, here's your little water dropper. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yo. <laughs> Here's your serving of pellets oh, when you check man. in. Here's yours. Uh, <laughs> Call the waitress oh, if you need more water. All over my pellets head. in those little <laughs> pill things. Little, little, take two pellets now. <laughs> if you have more pain and hunger, <laughs> call for another two this pellets. Is therapy is just the wheel. <laughs> all right, baby steps. Baby steps. <laughs> He's walking. He's walking. <laughs> <laughs> baby step, baby step, baby step. He's molting. He's molting, guys. There's nothing I can do with this from a city. How many from his litter was born? Uh, oh, but I got all these. He's assholes. the smallest in his litter, but he's uh, got spunk. Uh, ain't never been the smallest in the litter. That much I. Me and Kim gonna make sure of that. We ain't the smallest in the litter. Don't bring me back here. <laughs> I was born at Kim was the show born at a hospital. Mommy, God can you tell it. me a bedtime story? <laughs> yes, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a <laughs> Why was the first few there words was a in little... English? <laughs> <laughs> you know, just to reel you in. <laughs> Once, Once upon, upon a <laughs> There was a little <laughs> and his dream was to <laughs> and, the sl- and the sled to nowhere went. <laughs> I'm, I'm full human. I don't, I'm not following this shit. <laughs> what if the words in the book was just. <laughs> this nigga to here was the blade of gerbils. <laughs> <laughs> the full human and a gerbil. He can walk on his hind legs <laughs> and drinks water through a regular <laughs> bottle. He goes, through a regular <laughs> bottle. He goes, unite the races. <laughs> Go ahead to here. Unite the races? You're different than all of us. We run on a wheel, but they run on a treadmill. It goes straight. Wow. We run in circles. You see how the man try to keep us down? (laughs) My followers. (laughs) They all got on backpacks. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you. Rise up. Rise up. He got a sword out front. <laughs> it's a sport. Pigs. It's a sport. Chipmunks. <laughs> Gerbils. We are usually divided. It's just, it's rats. just a you little L-shape that rat. locks those cages. <laughs> we are free. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you how to do it. <laughs> Get out of there. Free yourselves. <laughs> he no longer has to be the pet of suburban white children. <laughs> we Rat- can drive kids. <laughs> <laughs> we can drive kids. <laughs> we do hip hop. We can listen we to EDM. <laughs> Rise up! <laughs> They're trying to keep you in a wheel. We can be They're trying to stars. keep you in a circle. <laughs> Think outside the wheel. <laughs> we have they heroes. already have us in a cage in our minds. <laughs> Y'all know how big your cage is. <laughs> big it is. <laughs> Next time I see oh, you selling incense, I'm going to flip your whole fucking table. Oh, <laughs> you earthy ass hoe. Oh, man. My smell. Pet my, my smell. <laughs> oh, no, my smell. <laughs> my 30 pack of incense for $10. Oh, my God. <laughs> God damn, that was good. My sex. Box out, that motherfucker. Well, I was getting jumped. Oh, my man. sex. God damn. All this nigga said was, I was born in a hospital. <laughs> and all this shit happened. Nigga, to is like, y'all eating regular pellets. I got brisket pellets. <laughs> He's like, brisket pellets. <laughs> I call them brellets. <laughs> 
I got smoked hickory. Oh. Yo, we got y'all just eating factory stuff, y'all man. Think that's all we you have. Know that? This whole time keep of going, the world. keep going. You ain't gonna make it to your son's game. <laughs> Our cousin Alvin been in a movie. Nigga, <laughs> yeah. we are rescue rangers. Germans <laughs> ain't never had no cartoon. Oh. Y'all gonna let chipmunks and squirrels <laughs> dominate? Yeah. Rats all looking like it, yeah, man. About time, y'all. <laughs> Rats? About, yeah, they, like, no, 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 not you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Gotta draw the line somewhere. That's Ew. hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Like, oh, no, no. Everybody hates rats. <laughs> <laughs> Gerbils and. <laughs> yeah. The Prairie cute dogs. Us, the cutest. The cutest. <laughs> oh, oh, man. oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> Let's do more. So the thing. <laughs> All right, this has been another episode of Songs on the Internet with today's uh, guest, Patrick Cloud. That was more than I thought. To hear more Lulu Gonzalez. <laughs> we will see you guys next time. Oh, Listen to us wherever podcasts are from. <laughs> and for our furry time. friends, Got to, say, <laughs> got to sign out for the hamsters. This is going to be their favorite episode. This episode is brought to you by Chewy.com. It's, it's like the Amazon of pets. <laughs> brought to you by Kia. Monty ain't, never, Monty ain't never tasted one. You know you eat them. Uh, so just cut it out. Say it's made in this. <laughs> well... <laughs> Uh, all right, we'll see y'all next time. Man.